This is uh, another video in the Fab Shop Duct 101 series uh, for tracking. This is uh, video two, uh, mobile usage. Uh, what we're looking at here is basically a screen. On, this is on an iPhone. Uh, it's the same on an Android. If you go to the app stores, uh, you'll find the Fab Shop tracking, uh, which you can download from the app store. Once you have that installed, when you first start that up, uh, it will prompt you for your TID, your username, etc. Uh, I've put mine in already just to save time so that gets me to this so this is your typical tracking screen first thing I want to take a look at uh, are the settings here so if you go to the settings part you get to see a list of locations and statuses uh, these can be added to and edited obviously as, as required these are unique to your company these are cloud-based for your company so as you add, remove, etc. on these, they will only show on your company there. Uh, each of these can be turned on and off. So for example, you may want to turn on the uh, new office uh, as a location. Uh, likewise for statuses. If we take a look at statuses. Again, these can be added, edited as required. Going off that. Uh, one thing to note in the current version, um, if you turn off uh, a certain location or status that is actually company-wide uh, you're not deleting it but you are actually disabling that for uh, all of the users they can obviously turn it back on uh, but just be aware of that uh, once you have all these entered in that you need to do uh, so for example uh, the, the example I'm going to use here is I'm going to be a delivery driver so my status is set to delivered uh, and I'm going to be delivering to potentially two locations here, a Aurora School and a new office. So again, obviously just using that as the example there. So I'm going to go back on the, uh, to get back to the main screen, the little man icon, and then scan. That takes me back to the, the starting screen. So we're looking at um, what we're actually doing here, which at the moment is currently blank. So there are a number of ways of using this. Uh, I may want to choose a job. So if I click on the uh, job name setting here, this is going to give me a list of all the jobs that are in my company's fab shop that have been processed uh, with the scanning option. So I'm going to choose this 19 job just by selecting it. It loads it up. So you can see down here, uh, I've scanned zero of 15 items there. Now I do need to tell it where I'm going to be scanning these two and what status to put them on there. So again, if I go into location, I'm going to say, oh, I'm delivering at the moment to the new office. And the status, if I click on that one, I can choose a status of, let's say, delivered. So again, obviously you can see where we're going, what potentially you can do with these. Uh, to actually do the scanning them itself, uh, you have the scan icon in the bottom here. So if I actually choose the scan icon, that puts me into scan mode. You'll see there we have a uh, red line on the screen. Uh, as I pass these over my QR codes on the uh, stickers, it'll automatically pick these up and scan them without me doing any any additional uh, work there. Now, the other way of actually using the scanning, let me just get this back. Uh, currently, obviously, normally you use your, your phone in portrait mode, so it's, it's taller than it is wide. Um, pew, rather than choosing the scan option here, if I just rotate my phone, into landscape mode you can see there it automatically goes into scan mode anyway so i don't need to push any buttons i literally can just rotate the phone and i'm automatically in scan mode there so i'm going to get that back out uh, as you scan them in uh, it will be checking off here how many you've actually got uh, maybe you want to review what you've actually got so again if you click on the um, uh, this item here it will just give me a list uh, and again, this gives you a basic description. So I'm looking from oval flex, a 45 degree round elbow, etc., etc. Uh, as I scan these things in, they will all uh, get check marks against them to show that I've actually got them. So maybe I've actually scanned 14 pieces and I can't find the last piece. Uh, this will be a good way of actually coming in to actually review which piece I'm actually missing there. And it may be a case, a, a damaged sticker. Uh, maybe a case it's in a box. It may be a case that's somewhere I can't actually reach or get to. Um, so I do have the option of manually scanning. 
purely by actually just clicking on the piece. So if I want to set it's on this oval flex, for example, all I've got to do is touch that on the phone. You can see there, it gets a checkbox. The little pause was actually uploading the cloud. So this is pretty much real-time information there. Um, so again, you can do this automatically. You can do this manually. And so it is all basically cloud-fed. Take me back to the main screen so I can see there I've actually got one of my 15 have been done so far. Uh, it is all real-time. There's no saving required. Uh, when I get to my new job site, all I'm going to do is choose my new job, uh, new status, new location if need be, and continue on. There's no starts and stops in there. Okay, that wraps up the basic usage.